Hi hustlers, please subscribe if you are here for the first time. Please and thank you. I am Antoinette Sydney. I hope that you are well. I hope that you are taking care of yourself. Why lawyers do not give free legal advice? I have a sign in my office that says no free legal advice. Now let's get this clear. An attorney at law becomes your attorney at law or your lawyer when there's a written retainer or contract between you and that lawyer and you pay this lawyer's fee. Lawyers who share general information about the law online use disclaimers such as this is not free legal advice or that no attorney-client relationship is created by the publishing of this content. You can think of disclaimer signs that you may see in a car park that says management will not be held responsible for loss or damage to your vehicle. The disclaimer is used to protect the lawyer from being sued by a person who is not a client, but this person relied on general information given by the lawyer that was acted upon by this person, the non-client. So it really protects the lawyer. Now remember, every case will have special circumstances. And for this reason, it is not wise to, to take any action based on general information that you research about your legal problem. Think of researching a mole that you discover on your, let's say on your hand. And of course, online research may tell you this mole is a symptom of 10 diseases. Let's say you apply a recommended home remedy, which is to mix one drop of lemon juice and three grains of salt, and you have to mix five seeds of a green bird pepper and apply it to the mole. And you follow this, right? And if your skin becomes irritated, what is your next cause of action? Do you sue the owner of the blog the person who wrote about the, the mole and the home remedy, would you? A better approach may be to visit a doctor, pay for a consultation, and the doctor may provide a, like a, a, a diagnosis and may even prescribe medicine. Or if the doctor, who is a trained professional, a licensed professional, still cannot tell you what this mole means, the doctor may send you for additional testing and screening. In the reverse, what if the home remedy actually worked? What if it removed the mole? Everyone has different skin. So this remedy may work for you while it may not work for someone else. With the law, you have a general rule. And with every rule, you have exceptions. To ensure you get the best legal advice for your particular situation, you may consider hiring a lawyer and this person becomes your lawyer. The lawyer will have a consultation with you, similar to the consultation the doctor would have with you, and you will get professional advice from your lawyer. Some of the benefits of hiring a lawyer include the creation of attorney-client relationship. So again, this person would be your lawyer. You would have professional representation. If the matter comes before the court, you have an advocate who will represent you to the best of his or her ability. Another benefit is that the defendant or the person on the other side who you are suing or who is suing you can communicate through his or her lawyers with your lawyers, not directly to you. We also have confidentiality so that whatever you say to your lawyer will stay between you and your lawyer. Okay? You can rely on your lawyer's advice because that is your lawyer. Your lawyer knows the facts about your case. Now, this is in no way uh, an advertisement. What I am saying to you is that lawyers generally do not give free legal advice or lawyers do not hold themselves out to create an attorney-client relationship by the publishing of content because there's no way for the lawyer to know the facts of your situation or, or of, of your matter, of your case. There's no way. So you cannot take 
research that you found online and apply it to your serious legal matter and proceed without hiring your lawyer. In closing, if you did not pay for it, then it is not legal advice. So I want you to understand that you would see a lot of disclaimers on all my content that I post because I share the general information. But if you ask me a question pertaining to your particular matter, you would realize I I would tell you so you should consider retaining the services of, of an attorney. This person becomes your attorney and this person can help you with your with your matter. Some of these matters are so serious and I think it's dangerous to be searching or researching online for a solution to for your matter when there's another way to deal with it. So this is just my contribution and I hope that this answers your question. Thanks for subscribing. Bye, hustlers.